Once upon a time, there was a golden butterfly. This butterfly wanted to build a watch. This watch was to be a very special watch, a watch in which all the small parts of its movement could be seen doing their work, building a mechanical universe. And one fine day, the butterfly indeed begins to build this movement with the help of his friends. Wheels and pinions, bridges and cocks, rings and springs, three hands and many screws. The butterfly calls to them and as if by magic they all come together. First comes the central main plate, which is a place for all the parts to meet. This is followed by parts that give power to the movement, starting with the winding gear, which of course is truly conical, assuring a long and fruitful life. Now we see the two main springs which are connected in parallel to the first pinion. The first pinion with its wheel flies right into place. This wheel teams up with more of his family, forming a chain which leads right to the escapement. And now the butterfly comes into play. This holds the family of wheels in place. But what would a movement be without its beating heart? It would run too fast without any sense of time. Here comes the escapement which will solve this problem. And now a small hand arrives to rest on top of the balance wheel. A hand to show how time flies. A hand to show how much to wind the watch and when to wind it again. A watch is not a watch if it cannot tell the time. So along comes a tiny silver ring which hovers just above the butterfly. And at last, here are the hands and their gears wheels hardly visible at all to mysteriously drive the hands. The hands now whirl around to find the right time. And who is it that brings the movement to life? Who is it that sets the time? It is the watchmaker who first had this dream of a butterfly who wanted to tell the time. It began and ended with the papillon d'or.